Hey guys, uh, here we are on the Char Griller Barbecue Wars Tour and we are at our next location and we are getting ready to go into Rudy's. And it says the country store and barbecue. That sign actually says the worst barbecue in Texas. So we're gonna see what happens. There's a lot of good reviews on here, but um, we wanna go in here and check this place out. So let's go see what's going on. All right, and I just wanna note that Rudy's is huge in Texas. It's all over the, I've, I've been to the one in Amarillo and it's, it's always a part of a gas station. It's a gas station and a country store. If you guys remember, when I was moving to Tennessee, we stopped at it uh, in Amarillo, Texas, I think. It's getting inside, it's getting windy out here. Part of Rudy's is that they're huge. They got, they got seasonings and sauces and huge. This place is just huge. And this is at a gas station. This is like the country store part. We're in Selma, Texas, which is right outside of San Antonio. Rudy's wants you. Oh, they're at every every Rudy's. Seriously. Okay, so pork ribs. Do they do beef ribs? I don't think so. Hi, y'all. Welcome to Rudy's. Bean corn, beans, 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 Huh. All right, cool. And they have brisket. They don't have, oh, they have chicken. Pork ribs. They don't have pulled pork, do they? They don't have pulled pork. What is up? Oh, what is this? Sweet corn. A little hot, sweet corn. A little sweet hot. Corn. Sweet corn, guys. Is this going to be for here? You sit here, right? Yeah, for here. Yeah, yeah. right here. I'm going to take care of your sides here first. Okay. We'll get some meat the Little sample sweet corn, dude. Are we doing it? That's really good, man. You want to do that or you want to go with something different? I want to stay with what we're doing. All right. Meats. We'll take it now? All right, cool. Have a good day. So there's your sides, guys. Thank you. Huh? Those are single servings. Yeah, it's peach cobbler. I know, I think it's huge. Okay, so when I was in Amarillo, Texas, they had burnt ends, we lucked out. They don't have any right now, but they normally, if you ask, you get them, they just give them to you. That is amazing. That is awesome. This is why I love Rudy's. So, uh, it's been a while since I've been here, so it's good to be back. All right, so let's take a look at the table. We got Rudy's barbecue sauce, spelled incorrectly. We have Cajun Chef hot sauce, toothpicks, salt and pepper. Nice. You got everything? I think so. Looks good, boom. Food here, our meat. Boom. It's cool out here, man. I like the water. this. Oh, it's nice. Yeah. Dude, that's that potato salad. I know, it's looking, looking, it's looking really good, dude. So is the coleslaw. The coleslaw looks good. Yeah, Beans sure look does. good. Alright, so it's blowing out. We learned we learned the hard way. We've been ordering too much food. <laughs> we got the bread. So we're gonna show you. That's the chicken. Yep. Right here, that's a half chicken. Pull that over. Those ribs, look at those ribs. Very really good. Beautiful. And then there's our brisket, moist. Boom. So let's try everything. You ready? I'm gonna start with this over here. All right. The potato salad. It's potato yellow. Salad. It's from a, yeah. You started out strong. Uh -huh. Very yellow. Boom. 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 All right. Yeah. Coleslaw. Yeah. Cut. Dude, that looks really good. Kind of. Like the mayo, but hopefully there's a little tang to it too. A little bit. A little bit. Talk All right. about that. Get your spoon. Bean time. Because we're doing some beans, and those look cowboy style too. Yeah. Little black bits in it. Not sure if that's pepper or some meat. Is there any meat in there? Not that I can see, but anyway. I didn't taste any meat. It's not like that cowboy taste we had earlier. Not peppery or kick in the no, mouth. No, not really. So, okay. we'll talk about the beans later. All right. Look at that. Oh, yeah, that's cool. That looks good. Look at that bark. Yeah. Is that the best? Here we go. Really good. All right, we're gonna take out this rib here. Here we go. Not really coming off the. Look at that. Try to bite that off. Yeah. I'm gonna try the other side. Hold on. Kind of weird. A little better. Yeah. I love the whole spare rib though. It's just big. Mm. All right. Good. Chicken. Let's try a piece of chicken. Thankfully, we're back to chicken. Unlike the last <laughs> place we had. The turkey. Come on. They got, they cut this and like the bones are, I don't like my chicken cut like that, but whatever. 
All right, so here's the chicken. Here we go. Mmm. Oh, wow. Yeah. Okay. All right, I'm not complaining about the chicken so far. So okay. What are, you, what are you talking about? Well, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to do the meats now. But anyway, um, I was just, we were just talking about what's really interesting about Texas. Dude, it's so different than what we went through, not just in Tennessee, but on that, that, that other barbecue war we did on the, on the other tour in the south. In Texas, they're letting us order um, what we actually want to eat. Or how do you, how do you, so what's that? Yeah, one? by the pound, by yeah. the quarter pound, yeah, by the Yeah, so we're just ordering right bones. now two bones instead yeah. of a, a half a rack or a full rack. We didn't rack. know. We didn't know, so I mean, it was, I mean, we were just destroying ourselves, but it wasn't an option because we were doing... We only had like family platter styles, right. you know, when we were trying to get the meats and all that here, we're able to tailor this in a little different, which is better. Yeah, they're weighing so the meat and then charging by the pound. It's way better, you know, from what I'm seeing, at least how to order with two people. So cool. it, it's working good. So that's good. I love anyway, it. I'm going to try the brisket. All right. The brisket good. right there. Yeah. There you go. Mm. Not sure I would have put that much in my mouth. That's good. Anyway. Good man. Why well, I can't hear you? What? Yeah, what do you say? Good man. What are you doing? Good man. Forgive a minute? No, I got a man. You got to get a minute? Mm -hmm. Oh, it's gonna take more than a minute. I'm gonna wait till that mouth's empty. Don't tell me you're drinking water. Don't do that. Cause the brisket we ordered wet, didn't we? Is the brisket wet? The brisket's wet. It is? No. Okay. A little bit. No. That, yeah. No, that's the saliva in your mouth. Mm. I'm telling you. Wet brisket is like wet, literally. Wet, wet. It's like, in like you see the juice on it, the wetness. I mean, the wet brisket you get over at uh, at Jack's Barbecue in Trinity, mm -hmm. that thing's wet. Like you put it on a napkin, and it's gonna soak the whole napkin with juice. Okay, just my thought. Okay. All this right, what's this next? Not bad. This rib. That rib. This rib right here. Awesome. Look at that rib. It's beautiful. Look at all that meat. All right, here we go. Bad, bad, yeah. bad. I know. I bit the one side. It mm -hmm. didn't come across well. That's better. The better? Yeah, that's what I did. There was it's one better. good side, one bad yeah, side. Yeah, I don't know what happened there. Yep. Give a little something with it. Makes sense. I'm sure I do. Just a little something. Just there it is. You got it. Sure. You got it. Should I tell them about, should I tell them about that spot right there? Oh. Yeah, yeah. Put it back in. Put it there, back in. Get a shot of that. Move your hands. All right. What's okay. next? I'm gonna do the uh, chicken. Chicken. Chick yeah. chick chicken. What do we got in here? Just bite right into it, dude. No. Just pick the whole thing up. No, I might get into a rick of bone or something. I don't like, well, they hatch yeah. it and then it splinters the bones. It? Well, they hatch it, yeah, they hatch it the chicken. Mm. Chicken's delicious. Chicken's delicious. It's delicious. There's no reason to no. wait on that when it's that good. No, it's killer. The awesome. chicken's really good. Awesome. You ready to finish this off? Yep. Beans, beans, beans. They're good for your heart. The more you eat, the more you fart. The more you fart, the better you feel. Eat beans at every meal. Okay. These beans are like how my dad used to make them. Seriously. They taste just like the pinto beans. My dad, he'd go through bean by bean, pull out the little rocks, rinse them off, soak them overnight. These remind me of an old place, you guys are from California, called Pinnacle Peak. It was shape of a barn. Cowboy steaks and beans. These aren't cowboy beans. These are just good, clean, wholesome, firm beans. Pinto beans came out great. Mm. I, I don't like coleslaw that's swimming, but I like it where it's just glazy and, and it's moist, really moist. Okay, and here we go. Saint, the St. Clair's potato salad at Sam's Club is the best potato salad I've ever had. And the um, the shed mm -hmm. they had in their cooler, yeah, remember? Yes, that's what okay. they served. This tastes just like it. It does. It, it, this has got to be St. Clair's, I'm it's guessing. Delicious. This is delicious. No. This, oh my goodness. The sides were great. Really? Except the beans. I wasn't a fan. Yeah, you weren't a fan of the beans. I got it. I'm a fan of the beans, but the potato salad, 
and right. the coleslaw were just fantastic. Awesome. I didn't care for the, uh, the brisket too much. I just thought it just wasn't that great. The chicken was fantastic. Best chicken we've had, at least I've had, since we've been out. It was it was great. And the uh, the rib was a little tough. Um, when I tried the first bite, I don't know if it was the backside or if that was just the toughness. So uh, <laughs> anyway, so anyway, um, overall it was a good place to eat. It really was. I would definitely come back though for sure. So you definitely. would stop at any of the Rudy's, right? Yes, I would. Yeah. All of them are great. Yep, absolutely. Awesome. You bet. It would, I would look forward to it. Rudy's. First of all, stop throwing out burnt ends. It's a menu item. People in California pay twenty to twenty-five dollars for a plate of burnt ends. They're amazing. Don't do that anymore. Number two, pulled pork. Your barbecue joint have pulled pork. All right. Number three, your ribs. They're just too tough. You're either you're either cooking them too fast. You're not cooking them long enough. You're not. I don't know what you're doing. I don't know the process, but your ribs are tough, but they're really good. You're like this close. If you can get them a little more tender, they'll be flawless. All right brisket that wasn't wet brisket that was dry brisket okay I asked for wet I'm sure that was your wet brisket there needs to be a way to keep them moist and wet in their own juices uh, better than that and the chicken home run best chicken we've had on the tour this year best chicken I've had even compared to last year's tour that chicken is it is amazing unbelievable I will come back again and again to Rudy's because I love you guys. All the sides are great, including the beans for me. It's just a great place, guys. So Rudy's, uh, they're attached to gas stations. They're all over Texas and might even be in a few other states. I don't know. But I love this place, and I'm glad to be here. And we will have a score on the screen and then break down down below, okay? Thank you, Char Griller, for doing this tour. We appreciate it. And we're ready to move on to the next place. Take care.